Hello VC, today I'm gonna do a quickie. I just want to recommend you some songs that are not so widely known about. And these songs are recordings that appeared on this LP. For those of you who has followed my channel and seen my manifesto video, a little video where I just set the rules for my record collecting, I have one rule there, I don't collect best of albums. I just want to hunt down the original pressings as uh, they were first released. So normally I don't do any best of albums. However, rules are made to be broken, right? So I'm gonna show you an exception and I'm gonna, gonna tell you why. Because today I'm gonna talk about this LP, Donovan Greatest Hits. You've seen this like thousand times, right? It's a really, really common LP and uh, you can almost get it in the, in the, in the cheap bins. Um, but what's so interesting about this LP is that it, um, it has a few recordings that wasn't released prior to this Best of Album. Unique recordings for this LP. Therefore I have made an exception to my rule of not having any Best of Albums. You know, when Donovan started uh, and released his first uh, LP and singles in 1965, he sounded very much like uh, Bob Dylan. He had that same kind of folk style. And uh, people in the UK, in the press, they just said he was a, the new UK Dylan. And he was always compared to Dylan. And quite rightly so, uh, because he sounded very much like Bob Dylan. And to me, those early recordings are not really that interesting. But what's interesting with, with Donovan is that after this first era when, when he was this folky, he, um, he was going in, the, in a direction towards more psychedelic music. And he was almost like a pioneer when it comes to combining folk music with psychedelic pop. So he was one of the most important artists to the whole psych folk movement that was happening in the late 60s and the early 70s. And when he did the psych music, he wasn't like Bob Dylan at all. He had found his own voice and his own, his own music. Anyway, by 1968, Epic Records, his label in the US, they wanted to compile and put together a best of Donovan album. And uh, by that time, as I said, he was at the height of his career. He was the psychedelic minstrel in the UK and uh, releasing awesome music. When they were putting this LP together, they of course wanted to include his first two singles, Catch the Wind and Colors. And those two songs are when he had this Dylan-esque sound. For some reason, Epic Records didn't have the right to include these songs or recordings to the LP. So what did they do? Donovan decided to re-record them. And this was like in the mid-68. And he was uh, at the same time recording Hurdy Gurdy Man. And he had like the best uh, session musicians like John Bonham and Jimmy Page and Big Jim Sullivan. And a lot of, lot of great musicians were playing with him and they created like psych pop masterpieces. And uh, at that time, at the height of his career, he decided to re-record Catch the Wind and Colors, his first two singles. And uh, of course, they're not going to sound like his Dylan-esque era. They're going to sound like 1968 Donovan. So, on this LP, we have new recordings of Catch the Wind and Colors. And these versions are totally killers. It has the sound that you want from Donovan. For starters, uh, Catch the Wind, totally different tempo, uh, no more finger picking in uh, like Bob Dylan style or folky style. Here we have Donovan strumming his guitar gently, very like dreamy vocals on top of that and some really airy piano and some distant choirs in the background. In the chilly hours, mint, 
of uncertainty I wanna be in the warm hold of your loving mind Building up this fantastic song to a long outro uh, very much what, what he did with his song Atlantis, with his long outro. So Catch the Wind also has this outro. And on that outro the band started starting to play and we have like killer bass playing from John Paul Jones. Later with Led Zeppelin. And the drumming is fantastic. Everything is produced by Mickey Most. So we get this fantastic song that initially were like a folk song in this 1968 version. Uh, with the sound that you really want from Donovan, the true Donovan sound when he had found his, found his voice. Catch the Wind. We're going to listen to the original version from 1965. Compare it to the 1968 recording. Found me to love you now Would be the sweetest thing It would make me sing I bet I may as well try and catch the wind The other song that he re-recorded for this LP is Colors, his second single. And uh, originally it came out in 65 and it really has that Dylan sound as well. But on this version we, we still have his like folk styled finger picking guitar that, Do that Donovan is playing. But this is recorded with a full band. We have um, a lot of uh, very groovy like conga or bongo drums with drums. And we have uh, uh, killer lead guitars from Big Jim Sullivan. And uh, again, Led Zeppelin is playing bass and he also lays down a really nice Hammond organ part on this version. And it all has this laid back hippie vibe. It's just like so mellow uh, with his uh, sweet voice and everything. So it's like a really good like hippie laid back song. Green is the color of the sparkling corn in the morning when we rise in the morning when we rise that's the time that's the time that's the time that's the time, that's the time. I love so if we're gonna compare it, this is the first version uh, from 1965. Hello is the feeling that I get when I see her When I see her Oh yeah That's the time That's the time That's the time That's the time I love the best Yes, so a big difference and um, to my ears this is the definitive version and that is why I have a best of album in my collection. Because when this, when this was released it was the first time these recordings came out. So uh, before that they weren't, weren't heard of. 
So therefore I have this in my collection. Uh, pretty logically if you think about it. But this is a UK press and this cover is like so ultra fragile. You can see it is a laminated cover and um, on the back here and when you open it up it's very very thin and there's a booklet in here see if I can show you with the pictures of Donovan and his body Gypsy Dave and so on and you, you put the LP in from down here <laughs> so it's it's very hard to find this UK press in good condition anyway and while I'm at it I'm gonna show you the label it's um, this classic pie UK pressing UK pressing in stereo it was also released in mono anyway what's so funny with this is uh, this became a massive seller and uh, they reissued it in the 70s and many times with those versions but in the 90s when they decided to reissue it again they changed these recordings to the original 1965 recordings so if you listen to this on streaming platforms or if you buy a recent pressing of it it has the 1965 pressings so these versions are you can't find them on any any recent pressings or on streaming so you just have to find this greatest hits album uh, or any other like greatest hits maybe from the 70s I, i'm not sure where it's included and yeah, i mean it's not it's not it's not an expensive record the epic version from from us is really cheap record and this i bought this for this is a really nice uk first press in stereo and i bought it for 10 10 dollars if you're new to donovan and want to explore his music this is a really good compilation to start you get all the greatest uh, hits from the 60s like so many great songs seasons of the witch where your love like heaven a pistol to dippy you have sunshine superman and by uh, and by the way sunshine superman is another version on this lp it's one minute longer than the lp version and the single version from 66 so not only you get the different versions of uh, colors and catch the wind you get a longer version of uh, Sunshine Superman. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about this. Uh, fantastic. I just love Donovan. I, I have uh, almost everything I need from his, his catalog. Uh, or I think I have everything I need from his catalog. This was the last piece actually. I, did, I just recently bought this because you, you know I, I really didn't want to have a greatest hits album. Uh, but in this case I made an exception because these two songs are totally amazing. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the 68 recordings here on YouTube. Please comment. Well, do you prefer the 65 version or do you prefer this uh, re-recording from 68? Uh, I know some people really like that Dylan era of, uh, of Donovan. So put down a comment. Do you like this, the original 65? or the 1968 re-recording. I would really love to hear what you think. Yeah, I think that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, take care, peace out and everything.